I'm Miguel from Aver, and I'm here to show everybody a very unique setup we have with my Aver cameras, a Sennheiser, very nice uh, seam uh, connect ceiling microphone, and uh, we have Christian here. Yeah, he invited me for coffee. Yeah, thank you for joining me here today. Uh, it's a pleasure to have you here, and uh, thank you also for showing me your software that uh, where we can actually use the ceiling microphone data to recall presets on the camera. So now we have seen this zone and this zone and this zone. What if I'm going to present something at the screen? Exactly. And that's what, uh, what, what, what's unique about this uh, small setup. And you can see uh, it's, it's rapidly showing uh, and, and moving around in the, in the preset zones. If I'm walking up here, it will instantly just go towards me. And uh, I can present if there's something present here. I can also walk uh, over in this other side here. And it will just make a small adjustment because we wanted to make the small adjustment. Um, we can move easily back and, uh, and, and, and present like, like we wanted to. One thing to note is that why, right now we are in a casual setting in a, in, in some, in a presentation mode. Uh, of course, this software and this setup here, the microphone and our camera is also very, very suitable for a stand-up setup where you have the camera pointing towards the audience in a standard boardroom, meet room. Uh, we have, of course, this, the preset you already seen here, but I also made a preset, uh, we also made a preset here that is very close. So then, 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 then you are able to, to uh, also work in the, in, the, in the far end and in the close end to the camera. The uh, microphone, uh, the Team Connect Ceiling 2 microphone um, fits directly into a tile in the ceiling and immediately as you boot it up, it starts streaming audio. There's a 28 very nice capsules inside, but this can also uh, find out what direction the speaker is uh, standing. Uh, so let's take a look at the position data that we received from the microphone. Because this is actually a visualization of the beam uh, that is following me right now. Uh, so if I move to the other side of the room, we will have the beam pointing in this direction. And also if Mikkel is talking, I can say something now and you will easily, of course the camera will move to me, but the, the, the lighting on the screen, the yellow lighting beam is towards me. I can also try the preset out here and then see if, yeah, we have the beam now pointing in the uh, direction of me. So uh, this data, uh, we can subscribe to or we can have the AVA uh, software saying, okay, if you are in this area, we will recall this preset. We are sending out uh, degrees both in the horizontal and the vertical uh, uh, direction. So um, this have been split into kind of eight pizza slices to make it very easy to set up. So if I'm in this pizza slice, we will recall the preset pointing at me. And if we are in your area, then it will of course uh, recall the preset in the in the in the zone or the channel uh, that we uh, dedicated for this area. And now uh, I'm going to show you how we are actually uh, setting up uh, our Evo cameras with the ceiling uh, connect ceiling to microphone. Um, I've started up my Evo PTZ Link program in the, in the laptop here, and I'm got just going to uh, type in the IP address for the camera. There we have it here. And of course, it's ne it needs the camera account. So uh, I've just set a generic one I use, but uh, this is totally customizable. So uh, you can actually yeah, set it up in the network like you want it to uh, and in the, in the login uh, on the IP. So right now I'm just going to type in the account and the password because there's some security in this also. The microphone IP, it's uh, almost the same, but uh, this is also a static. You can make it static, of course, like you uh, do with all your uh, network devices. And then lastly, I'm going to uh, type in what this uh, room or this setup is called. So I'm going to call it Sennheiser HQ. And I'm going to link these two. And now uh, I see on the screen that my device has been successfully, successfully paired. 
And actually you see it over here on the side that uh, both the camera, this is my uh, PTC310U camera I'm using today, but this goes for all my pro cameras, so you can use it for all my pro cameras. And you also see the green light from the microphone means both are active. And if you uh, see on the side here, you can actually see that uh, the software is already receiving inputs from the microphone. So uh, when I talk and speak, I can see that I'm activating channel 3. And that's what we described a little bit before, that we divided everything into eight channels. So what I wanted to do now is I want to make a preset. So when I sit here in the chair and, 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 and talk, what preset do you want to activate uh, and what do you want to see when, when this is activated? Therefore, I want to log into my uh, setup here. Right now, this is my uh, login on the, um, on the IP. And uh, I want to make a preset for this. And uh, for uh, making this very simple, I'm going to call this preset 3. Because it's channel 3 and uh, I'm going to make it save this preset, as you're seeing now, as 3. And now it's saved for 3. And I can go back because Christian is still on board with me. And he's going to talk from his side. Oh yeah, so now I'm talking from my position and uh, then we should be able to see in the AVA software what zone I am located in. So uh, hopefully you will be able to see that. I am. And you see actually from the software on the screen here that it's activating channel 7. So now I'm going to make a preset for channel 7. So it's actually going to work when Christian is talking. So right now I'm going to pan the camera here to Christian and say I want this to be in channel 7. Save. And this is of course directly on the IP on the camera so now everything is saved. Do not need extensive uh, profiling and setup. And then I go back to my Able Link software and say when I'm in uh, channel 3 I want preset 3, and when I'm in channel 7, you see actually the camera moved just as soon as I made it to preset 7, and I'm going to set preset 7 on channel 7. So now if, if Christian is talking... I will be talking now and see if the camera is moving, and it did. So that's easily, easily how it's set up. And that's the whole idea of this solution, when you have two very nice products that are hooked up in the software is very easy to maneuver in. Yeah. Thank you for showing us that, Mikkel. It was a pleasure and uh, very easy. It is very easy. And uh, thank you so much for, for having me, Christian. And uh, that's all for me. And uh, hope you see you everybody out there. And uh, if there's anything, don't hesitate to reach out to us. We will easily support this. Definitely. Ciao for now.